I've got it in at an angle just to pull back that bright bit of sky and it's working an absolute charm. This looks fantastic. I'm in Hawaii and I'm going to a volcano. Never been to a volcano. I'm really looking forward to it. There's Charlotte, we've got bikes, and I'm very excited. There she is. And there she is. We're on our way to a lava flow. So it's coming from the volcano down the hill into the ocean. Now I really, really want to photograph lava going into the ocean. I also really want to photograph a lava flow on the surface at sunset, that kind of thing. I've never ever shot anything like this. So it's a first for me. So I'll be interested to see what results I get. For the lava flow, there are basically two choices. One, you can walk, which is about four or five miles and will take you a good couple of hours. Or you can hire a bike, which is what we've done. And we just cycle on the track and it doesn't take longer than about 40 minutes. Absolute no-brainer. Can't wait to get there. Okay, we have arrived at the lava entry point, which is where the lava flows into the ocean. Um, it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's a lot of health and safety in place, which I completely understand. Um, but there's a lot of rope, a lot of roped off areas, so places you can't visit. So there is one main viewing area. Um, and as you would expect, it's fairly popular. But that's okay. We still get a fantastic view. What I should mention is, although me and Charlotte have come here today on bikes, tomorrow I actually have a private guide. So I'm curious to see if the guide can actually get me anywhere that I can't get myself. Um, thus it being a quieter area and more room for exploration. Um, but we've got our spot now, which is a fantastic overlook. And you can see the lava flowing into the sea. It's fantastic. It's too light at the minute to take a picture. I'm going to wait till the sun sets. Um, but we've got our spot. We're going to stay put, have some sandwiches, drink some water, and just enjoy the view. I've had to go for a walk before I throw some of these tourists off the cliff. <laughs> right, I'm a tourist, I get it. I totally get it. I'm part of a crowd. If like crowds are fine, I expect crowds somewhere like this. But there's a rope, right? And there's a rope for two reasons. Reason number one, health and safety. You don't want absolute morons falling into the cliff, which might well happen. But reason number two is to sort of give everyone a chance to be able to see the action. It's completely unfair that people, and not just me, there's lots of families having picnics, there's other photographers who've sat themselves along the rope um, with a fantastic, unobscured view of the lava. And then you get some utter twonks who come and climb over the rope and sit right on the edge blocking everyone's view. I'm talking about these flipping inconsiderate people. People who only want to take selfies. And I'm just furious, I'm furious! And I don't want to be the guy that says something because the problem is the two utter pillocks who did it first, they've opened the gate which has allowed more people to climb over the rope. And, and at the minute it looks like I've got two choices. One, take a photograph full of fat heads or two, climb over the fence myself not only endangering my life, but being another utter moron who is in a place where he shouldn't be, disrespecting the park, disrespecting the volcano, and disrespecting everybody around. Oh, my enjoyment of the volcano has been overshadowed by anger caused by utter morons. That's it for now. Excuse me, are you going to be staying there all evening? It's just... Oh, we're blocking you? 
Yeah, well, yeah, but it's not just you, it's everyone blocking. who's gone on this side of the rope is blocking yeah. everyone else's view. Okay, I'm speaking very quietly because I'm surrounded by hundreds of volcano spectators. I feel much better now. I got it off my chest. I told those girls that they shouldn't be there. And they were really nice about it. And then my hero, one of the wardens came along and uh, cleared everyone off. What I found with photographing this lava flow is there seems to be a magic shutter speed. And in my opinion, that magic shutter speed is 1.6 seconds. Now there's also a magic 10 minutes and we are right in the middle of that magic 10 minutes. That is when the ambient light is enough to show detail in the rock, detail in the water, and to allow you to achieve a 1.6 shutter speed with a decent aperture. I'm on, I'm on f9 right now. I'm at 200 mil. I've got my polarizer on to take the glare off the water to give the image more contrast. I'll show you now what the polarizer does. As I spin the polarizer, you can clearly see all of that shine is taken off the water. It's one of those things where once you've got your composition, enjoy it and keep taking photographs because every image changes. A volcano is constantly changing. Parts of it erupting up and falling off. Um, and as the waves, as the swell comes and crashes over the rock, then as the waves withdraw, that is when you get your best image. So as the swell is going back down because it reveals far more of the lava and you get much more orange glow in your image. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna stay here for another 20 minutes and just continue to take pictures, which isn't normally my style, but how can you not? Absolutely magic. a bit of an update for you. <laughs> Earlier I said I wasn't changing my composition. Well, I was really happy with the images I've got. <clears throat> so I decided to change composition. Um, and I've gone for a wide shot, I say wide, 70 mil, um, just to get the lava flowing and the big plume of steam. Um, and we've got a lovely golden sky behind the lava. And it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, the reason um, I've decided to film this piece is just for my slightly unusual setup. I've got a wonky Lee two stop medium edge grad filter in. First time I've used it, and I've got it in at an angle just to pull back that bright bit of sky, and it's working an absolute charm. This looks fantastic really over the moon to have actually come here and got two images and not just one. Amazing. Now my fear is that we crunch through it into a lava tube, much like you would see a snow bridge over a crevasse. Same kind of thing, you fall through the rock into a chasm filled with boiling lava and die. I'm trying to make an image here, um, but it's, I'm not entirely convinced 